Hello everyone, I'm here today with another drum tech tip helping you mute your toms and your snares when you want to get that specific certain sound or you just got too much ring going on, on that bottom head or that top hot tom head in the studio. But now this method I use still gives a natural kind of um, muting where it allows you to sing but controls a lot more, especially when you're having a bottom head issue in the studio or if a mic's just picking it up live and so oh, it won't stop. This might help the issue, yet still keep the drums sounding natural. Now, what I like to call these are tape tints. Come on in here and check this out. They're also like tape fins, almost like fins on a heat sink. Uh, and to me, they kind of act like that. They help the drum be muted, but still take the weight of the muting down the little fins or down little tints, like I like to call them. Uh, all you need is a little bit of gaff tape. I recommend gaff tape highly because just other tapes don't have the weight and the cloth feel that this cloth tape has. So. Uh, duct tape's not bad, it's just not as good of a stick. Anyways, you want to take a piece about this long, and again, it's depending on your application. You want to hold it on one end and then kind of build a little tent and just fold that little thing together. And see, that's your first fin. Now you want to come along with a little bit of distance, maybe an inch and a half or so, at most two inches. Make yourself another little fin. Now I'm a fan of the I'm a I'm a fin. I'm a fan of the two fin sticking thing because that's that's enough and it's not too much for the head and yet you still get the vibrational suck of the finch. So let's check it out. First things first, I'm going to hit this drum, this lovely DW Tom. Wow, that's beautiful and loud, thick, rich. Now that does have a moon gel on it, so I want to check that moon gel out. Let's check that tape tent, huh? Come on. All right. Now see this, unlike the moon gel, had a little bit more resonance to it. It's a little bit more brightness, but it's still muted. It's still controlled it a bit. And that's the whole point of these sinks. It allows you to kind of have a little bit more weight on there without totally choking the drum. Now, one of my favorite things when I'm in the studio is taking one of these guys and utilizing it when the, you know, the producer's all, hey, man, that tom just won't stop singing. Every time you play those, those uh, stands are resonating. It's making that floor tom resonate, that tom tom resonate. So let's turn it over and see what we can do about that. Take this thing and put it right between the two lugs, AKA like center it on the nodal point. You want to try to get these two. This would be perfect, but you kind of want to ride the wave just like you do with the moon gel. You want to ride the wave. You don't want to choke it or break it in a, in, in a funky position. You just kind of want to ride it. And that way the resonance goes, but you still get that nice smooth. Well, let's turn this back over and see what happens when we take this tom. Didn't really lose much, but I guarantee you when that stand is ringing, this Tom won't be because this piece of tape really controls it. Now let's take a look at one of the other applications I have for this tape, which is also one of my favorite things. It's taking a really like fat tuned snare with loose rattly snares and kind of fatten it up a bit to get that old Motown sound. Uh, it's got some pop to it. Ooh, that's a lot of snare ring, but if you take a couple of these, one on each side again at the nodal point, almost like Mickey Mouse ears. Put them right against the away from each other. Sometimes, hopefully, with that little bit in between, just because you don't want to choke it down too much. Take these guys, put them in the middle, and then all of a sudden, the little bit of tweed. Uh, uh, no snare ring, just fat tone. Big, big snare sound. Loving it. And now to love this technique just a little further, what I want to point out is you want to take these two tape ribs and put that little space in the middle. What you want to do is put your friend Mr. Moon Joe right in the middle. And that way you got that weight on the head to help disperse some of the snare sound so you can really get that fat Motown sound. Oh, I can even get lower those snares. Oh, right there. Maximum snare sound, maximum snare sensitivity going on, but no rank, just big fat back beat, y'all. If y'all want more tips, check out my YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of stuff up, so come on.